We'll be getting live shots of the Prime Minister actually departing uh, for the United States. Uh, you can see that historic moment there, the Prime Minister departing for the United States. He will be uh, touching down and he will begin uh, his uh, state visit with the Yoga Day celebrations, as you were pointing out. But there you can see the Prime Minister uh, leaving for the United States. Something, you know, this has become really uh, a sort of, um, a, you know, a defining uh, visual as far as India's diplomacy is concerned. We, have, we, we, we saw similar visual when he left for uh, you know Australia and then Papua New Guinea so of course uh, the Prime Minister there now uh, departing for the United States for his uh, historic five-day uh, state visit uh, to America uh, so there we finally at that moment when the Prime Minister is finally departing for the United States his uh, five-day visit to the United States uh, his first state visit and of course the second time that he will be addressing uh, a joint session of uh, uh, the U.S. Uh, Congress. So there you can see the Prime Minister leaving for the U.S. Megha uh, is uh, still with us. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll try and get back to Megha, but there you can see these are live visuals that we're getting you. And if you talk about the agenda of the Prime Minister's uh, uh, visit, of course, a lot is lined up given the fact that he will be holding a high-level dialogue with uh, U.S. President Joe Biden, of course, a state dinner uh, uh, with uh, hosted by uh, the President of the United States and First Lady Jill Biden. So, of course, a lot is lined up. Um, and, uh, you know, in terms of defense deals and business deals that he will also... Uh, uh, be, be, be sort of involved in there. He will be meeting the top CEOs, Indian professional stakeholders there as well. Megha is back with us. Megha, so finally, uh, we have uh, those visuals of the Prime Minister leaving for the United States. And this has, as I was mentioning, become a defining visual of Indian diplomacy as well. Uh, so talk to us about that, you know, in the sense that uh, now India is leading the G20 presidency. And, you know, how has uh, sort of Indian diplomacy almost changed uh, under the Prime Minister? And this of course, is one of his most significant visits uh, in the past nine years. Well, the most significant, I would say, quote unquote, the most uh, significant visit that the Prime Minister is embarking upon has already now uh, to the United States of America. Uh, his several uh, visits in the past to US of A, a uh, fight that I can, you know, count on my fingertips, that I remember myself. Uh, uh, in all of them, this let this one finish, and this will perhaps go down as uh, uh, the most important one that he actually ever undertook. Now, uh, I just want to quickly uh, take you through what the Prime Minister himself had to say. Prime Minister had to say, just nine minutes back, he's put out a series of tweets and we must go through them now. Uh, he's uh, talked about this upcoming visit. He says, leaving for uh, United States of America, uh, where I will attend programs in New York City and in Washington, D.C. These programs include the Yoga Day celebrations at the United Nations headquarters. Uh, the, I, and he'll be in talks with the President of the United States, Joe Biden, address the joint session of the Congress and uh, more. In U.S., I will also get the opportunity to meet the business leaders. Of course, a lot of importance being attached to that also interact with the Indian community and meet for, and meet uh, leaders from different walks of life. We seek to deepen India-US ties in key sectors like trade, commerce, innovation, technology, and other such areas. Uh, interesting that he has not uh, mentioned defense here. Uh, and this is what the Prime Minister had to say uh, at the time, uh, in just 10 minutes back before implementing for New York. So, you know, in a, in a nutshell, Prime Minister himself talks about what his three-day trip to uh, U.S. of A is going to look like. Uh, there is going, you know, uh, what is interesting is that in things that would, you know, end up be becoming the highlight Vedan, of this trip, Prime Minister uh, is going to be there uh, at the United Nations headquarters for the yoga days. Of course, uh, you know, he'll be there perhaps uh, this one yoga day uh, will be washed across the world. Uh, it, anyways, yoga he has popularized to the extent right. possible. And, uh, you know, people do associate it almost, uh, Mr. Modi has become synonymous with yoga. Of uh, course, and that, that crucial point United you were also Nation making about how this is going to be, you know, significant as far as India-US cooperation uh, is concerned. So thanks so much, Megha, for that.